Right, hi guys, welcome back. Um, I did say I'd show you a little bit on the um, using the six mil cutter for finials. So I'm going to show you a little bit. That's a little handle I made on my uh, chuck key for this SCH2 chuck. Everyone moans about the chuck key on this. I've, I've I just made a quick wooden uh, wooden handle for it. It's lovely now. Better than the other ones. Right, okay, so I've got this, it's just a piece of um, U I've got in here, okay, this uh, sort of season. Right, I'm going to use my small little 12 mil roughing gouge, just to rough it down. So I'm going to speed up. Yeah, okay. Sorry, my head, my uh, face field is knocking the camera, but there you go. Right, that's nice. So now what I'm going to do is bring the tool in a bit closer. I'm going to take the tape of this the end down a little bit. I won't go too much because I don't want to lose the stability of it. Right, so. I'll just grab the 6 mil. The little 6 mil on the 10 mil bar. I'm going to get rid of the end bit there, like so. I've got nothing in mind of what I'm going to do here at the moment, so, right, I'm going to come back in here. Finger behind it so I can bring this down. Got a little curve in that, like that, make it slightly concave. Just like that. Take that tip off. There we go. Now we'll bring this down nice and thin. That's looking way too big for that, so we're going to bring this down. Sorry, I'll keep hitting my head on it. There we go. Right. Now I'm not doing anything, so I've not got nothing in mind. I'm just demonstrating basically what you can do with this uh, this little six mil cutter. Now this can be such an aggressive little hollower, but to be honest, this can be so so delicate. Oh, 
front. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little, little bead in here. Right now, that's going to be thinner than this, so we're going to bring this back down. Now, you wouldn't normally be able to go back in like this, but this cutter is so sharp, with a little bit of finger support. I can go back in. A little bit of vibration there, like, oh, I'm pushing it now and I'm really pushing the boundaries now. You can ride the bevel of it and come along. Keep the pressure. Keep the pressure there, there you go. We manage it, we need a little bit here. This will probably fall off the end. Nope, we got it. Look at that. There we go, look. Right. Going to run out of wood, but depending on what you wanted to do there, guys, you can come down and then you can make whatever bottom you want for that. Put a skip back. No arm done there. There we go. Like I say, whatever you want to do on that end bit is what you do. I mean, you can go down to the 10mm um, or 6mm, I should say. Probably about whatever that is, I'll go through this. I'll do a six mil. There we go. There we go. Six mil. Right, and then if my tool rest comes up a little bit, just tap me chuck so I know where it is. Now I'll cut that off. And there we go, guys. A little finial. 
shouldn't have come back up on that bit really I should have done that in the one go but just so you get the gist that's what you can do with the little six mil cutter okay thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you on the next one toodle pip